Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing this fine evening? Just getting the stream loaded on my laptop here so I can monitor everything, make sure there's no glitches going on. There we go. Perfect. How is everyone doing today? Thank you for joining. If you guys want to leave some chats in the chat box, I can read you, uh, read your guys' comments in the laptop. So, for those of you that haven't seen uh, part one to the stream, I believe it was episode 73, 77, something like that, uh, go check that out. And YouTube, I will have the link posted in the description. Uh, thank you for joining one and all as an alarm is going off on my phone, which I need to turn off. There we go. Please go ahead and hit the like button for this stream. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing you guys the replay of the of Richard Petty's actual crash in real life because I showed it in part one. You guys can go check it out or just check out the replay on your own and YouTube. Just type in Richard Petty 1970. 1970 Darlington crash. So we got his number 43 Plymouth. All right, let's go into the single race. I was racing at Daytona Beach earlier. I was having a blast. All right, let's. It was that one I was using. Yep. All right. Mario Boss 765. I remember you. How's it going? All right, so for those of you that haven't seen part one, yeah, just like I said, go check it out in YouTube. I'll have the link posted in the description. I know right now it just says, can I recreate blah, 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 his crash. I don't have a part one or part two. I will have a part two in the title eventually. I just forgot to put it in at this point. And I just remembered I have the sound down for the game. There we go. One is the perfect balance for this on the microphone. There we go. Let's go first person for the first attempt. Sometimes those actually are better. I got the Michael McDowell attempt perfectly doing first person. Oh. Stay off the apron. It's hard to control when you have the grip turned up. Alright, so he hits the wall coming off turn four, comes and then boom. Oh, oh. Aw, oh, darn it. Not quite. The start of it was good, but he didn't tumble when he landed on the driver's side like he needed to. Like, right there is good, but he needed to start tumbling right there as opposed to going back. And yeah, by the way, guys, check out the part one for all the settings I have for this particular reenactment at this version of Darlington. I have, I sh uh, show in that live stream what I all did to this track in the INI file. I upped the grip a little bit. That's basically about it. Stay off the wall. There we go. I'm going to stay in first person for the first couple attempts. I know you guys don't like it that much, but what is up? The Acer Productions. I don't, still don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm going to roll with what I say. All right, so boom, hits the wall coming off the four, and then boom. Nope, darn it. He stayed on his roof. He needed to start tumbling. He's going to get drilled by someone right there. I thought for sure someone was going to hit me right there. Let's see what that looked like. Yeah, he needed to start tumbling as opposed to staying on the... on his roof right there. Next. Limit 70. Keep it under 5,500. Whoa. Keep it on 
back before they had speed limits in pit row pit road whoa yeah if that wasn't obvious that the grip is turned up I don't know how else you would be able to tell yep I can't turn too hard because that happens because I have the grip turned up for the sake of this reenactment Next. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5500 in seconds. Let's go back to third person. Keep it on 5500 in seconds. Oh. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Kaylee Arborough. Okay, Speaking of Kaylee Arborough in Darlington, if someone can find me for the 1963 Grand National mod, if someone can find me his car that he wrecked at Darlington went over the wall, I will try to do that reenactment. I'm yet to find the car. Or if someone can paint one, that would be awesome. Yeah, the two cars that were involved in that wreck. I've been looking for. To do for a reenactment. Oh. Nope. Darn it. Not good enough. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all those tire marks. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 55. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to shake the camera right there. I don't know why, it's something like keeps squeaking, like some chords rubbing together in the, like somewhere under my desk, but I can't pinpoint the noise and it's getting really annoying. Like something's like rubbing together each time the force feedback kicks in. It's not coming from the wheel, it's some like chords like squeaking together under my desk. I can't pinpoint it. It's getting really annoying, though, whatever it is. Alright, so, boom, hits the wall, and then, oh, oh, he needed to start tumbling. I was having good results earlier. I'm going to try a practice mode. I need a sunny practice session. There we go. Perfect. Accelerate, so there's some cars spread out throughout the track. Don't go over 70. Keep it under. So how is everyone doing? Guess what? It's less than three months till the Daytona 500. That's what I love about NASCAR season. The off season is so short. Oh. Oh. Does that count? So he needs to smash into the wall, kind of bounce off and get it on his side, then start tumbling while he's facing the outside wall. Tumble like two and a half times and then land on the roof. That is what I need. I need to kind of crank the wheel right before I hit the wall because with the heightened grip that kind of gets me up on two wheels right before I hit the wall and the way he kind of launches off the wall while on the two wheels when I do that it's kind of similar how he how he flies into the air in real life oh shoot all right well that happens and then nope and that's what happens when you jerk the wheel too hard before he hits the wall and gets absolutely destroyed by another car and that was close Frankie seven Eight six three Twitch is working all right. I was actually having a little bit of problems getting the Twitch to go or the stream to go through at the start of this one, but I just kind of reset my stream key and restarted OBS and eventually went through. I think the the delay was just taking a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. So there's like a 40 second delay or so between me uh, playing it and then it showing up on my laptop right here. So I was in wait like 30 seconds or so. So I think that might have been the issue too. But it's working now. Oh, oh god darn it. He needs to not spin on the roof. He needs to start tumbling when he initially gets airborne. But yeah. It's a... Uh, I really like Twitch because I can do this. And then also I'm saving the video file to my computer as we speak. And then I upload those. To YouTube just as they would if I had streamed through YouTube instead. 
So even though I'm not being able to live stream on YouTube and interact with those people, which still sucks, I am able to do it on here, and then people, all the YouTube subscribers are still able to watch these videos all the way through just like they normally would after the stream was done over there. So it's, it's not too bad. Kind of sucks that, yeah, I'm not able to stream there at the moment, but this is a decent alternative. God damn it. Alright, I... I'll get the hang of it. One of these I was... From the last stream I had perfect, but then I got hit by another car and it ruined the attempt. <laughs> you, you see what I mean though? If you crank the wheel really hard right there... The way he gets airborne right there is pretty similar. But when he lands right here, he needs to start tumbling as opposed to either staying on his roof and spinning around or staying on his wheels like he did right here. Yeah, right when he comes down here, he needs to start tumbling. But that initial airborne part I'm getting is decent. So yeah, someone find me the cars for Kale Yarborough's over the wall wreck. And I will try to do that one as well. I forgot which two cars were involved. There was a 27, I believe, and then someone else. Oh, god damn it. That stupid page un unresponsive stop script continue bullshit page just happened on my laptop. I'll fix it in a second. I wasn't going fast enough for that one. You alright? Nope, I'm not. Stop. Just gonna re refresh the page. God, I hate this damn laptop. Bought it for Black Friday two years ago for seventy dollars, and let me tell you, it performs like a seventy dollar laptop. It is slow as can be. Oh, now the screen's all white. Now it's all black. I give up. Now it's all white. Alright. Darn it, I needed to crank the wheel a little bit. You alright? A little bit harder that time. Or a little bit harder next time. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5500 in seconds. Okay, you're clear of the flight. Okay, merge when you can. Oh, darn it. How's that for a ride? Hey, the car still drives. You all right? We got big time problems with that motor, buddy. Nah. How's the motor now? Looks like we're bent up on the back end. I know I went too slow. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5500. Okay, you're Sound is delayed a bit. Darn it. There's nothing I can do about that. Not that I know of. Davy Allison versus Richard Petty. Oh. Alright, so boom. And then. And oh, damn it. Nope. Take a look at the replay. But nope. Alright, a second delay, that's not too bad. I was, like, thinking, like, 5 or 10 or something like that. Alright, a second isn't too bad. I don't think it's delayed once it gets uploaded to YouTube. Because I've watched the video files afterwards. I haven't seen the sound delay at all, but... Hopefully, yeah, that's not the case when, on this one. Hopefully the sound isn't delayed on the actual video file. That would be annoying. Oh. 
That was almost like a Michael Waltrip at Bristol thing, the way I hit that. That track opening. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, darn, he flipped too many times. I went back across the track a little more than I wanted to, but the kind of the way he got airborne there and started to tumble is what I'm looking for. But yeah, he went back up across the track a little too much. But yeah, the way he got airborne and started tumbling is what I was looking for. If he was stayed a little bit lower on the track and landed on his roof and tumbled like one less time, that would have been good. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5500. Okay, Whoa. And that's what happens when you have an accidental crash when the grip is turned up this high. And it continues when you get drilled by people who don't use their brakes. <coughs> that was brutal. Let's look at the replay. Jeez. He just destroyed that wall, yeah. If you can't tell, the grip is turned up a little bit. And he gets destroyed by that guy. All right, let's try again for the actual reenactment. And my laptop froze again. Awesome. Hit me. Return to pit. Limit 70. Keep it under 5500 oh, in second. Okay, you're clear. See guys, my laptop's frozen. I'll have to read your comments the old fashioned way by pausing the game every couple of, every few minutes and then switching over to the stream page. Whoa. Got a little squirrely there. with this one. Is my car still drivable? Nope. Come on. Well, looks like I'm restarting that computer. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5500. One of these times, I feel like I was having better luck in cockpit view. Alright, so, boom, and then, darn it, not that time. Intentionally was hunched over weird there. Limit so I could block out my password for the most part from you guys.
Boom. God damn it. What happened there? What happened here? You all right? I don't know, am I? I don't know. Did that block out the password? The resolution's too bad. It's not like you guys would be able to see anyway. I'll change it anyway. I always change my password every couple of months anyway. It's been overdue. Overdue. Limit 70. Keep it under 5,500 in seconds. Okay, you're clear of fit light. Okay, hurry when you can. Whoa. It's a wheeling right there. one-handed drive. Alright, so boom, into the outside wall, and then nope. Nope. Go away, super anti-spyware. Isn't it ironic that half the antivirus stuff you get nowadays gives you more pop-ups than actual pop-ups? And there's no way to disable all the notifications and pop-ups from coming up. So these antivirus softwares you get are just more annoying than viruses themselves half the time. Just an opinion of mine. Whoa. What happened there? Alright, boom. God damn it. Outside. All right. This is going to happen eventually. Going back to third person. Load the stream back up. Oh, damn it. Theater mode, F11. Perfect. Boom. Damn it! I think I had the wheel cranked the wrong way. Aside from hitting the outside wall, that was one of the closer ones I've gotten. Once again, he went up the track a little too far, but kind of that part, he didn't get as high in the air, but kind of the way he tumbled was sort of accurate, but yeah, he went too far back up the track. We're going to get it this time. Right guys, this is going to be the time we get it. I'm also going to restart the session after this time to get rid of all those tire marks from the previous tries. Boom. Start tumbling. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Please land. Please land. Oh no, I thought he was going to land on... His roof. That was the, one of the closer ones I've had. I'm going to save that replay just for the thumbnail. God damn it, that was one of the closer ones I've gotten. Still saving that replay just for the thumbnail. Right there, if you would land on his roof. I almost would have called it. Called it a completed 
The damage for this old mod isn't too bad. Richard, Petty, Darl, Thumbnail. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5500. It sucks I don't have quite uh, as large of a live interaction on here on Twitch as I did on YouTube, but until uh, I got an email back from YouTube, I'm going to send them another one, but as it's looking right now, I don't think I'm going to get that six-month live stream rights disabled, reversed anytime soon, so might have to get used to this. That was interesting. That was if like Richard Petty was a skateboarder. Did like a 50-50 nose grind. Backside board slide. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5500. start the session to get rid of all those tire marks. There we go. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5500. I'm going to take a look at my 1999 or my 1990 Bristol after this and see if the Michael Waltrip infamous Bristol crash would be a be possible. Tumble! Ah, oh, damn it! That was a hard wreck. Because, yeah, obviously, Michael Waltrip's Bristol crash wouldn't be possible damage-wise at this game, but the wreck itself... Like, those and like these uh, openings right there, if I can kind of get stuck in one for a second, then kind of zap back out of it, like the... Like, occasionally will happen in this game. That could be possible. I'd be as close to being able to do that... wreck reenactment with this game as possible. Don't go over 70. Keep it under... Yeah, obviously, the, it's not a damage model in this game designed yet to get the cars to get ripped in half. Yet. Come on, Richard. Let's do this. Right, boom. And... Yes, please, please start tumbling and land on your roof. Please, oh no, I thought he was going to land on his roof. If he would have landed on his roof right there, that would have been it. Boom, that's similar. He starts tumbling right there. And he even does a little twisty thing. If right here he would have landed on his roof, that would have been perfect. But nope, he had to go like that. That would have been the perfect two and a half rolls, and the way he flipped was perfect too. That part. <sighs> I'm gonna save the replay nonetheless. Richard Petty. Darl flip close. Don't 
Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5,500. One of these times, he's going to land on his roof. Okay, we're going to get outside. Clear well, that's outside. not going to help. Inside. Clear inside. Looks like you're leaking some fluid. Outside. Clear. Outside. Looks like we lost that motor. Clear. How's that for Richard Petty you're Flip? You're smoking out there. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5,500. Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano at Auto Club. It's a good idea, especially now that I have my wheel. I'll put that one on the to-do list, the request list. There's a few ones that are ongoing right now I want to get done before I start a whole bunch of new ones, but I am always taking suggestions, so keep them coming. Oop. Come on. Oh, darn it. Kind of got gripped to the track a little too much. Does that count? <laughs> I don't think so. I would get criticism if I posted that one as the final version. Criticism would be an understatement. Hey, buddy. Wanna cut me off again? I'll put you into the wall. Alright, boom. Aw, oh, darn it. God damn it. I should crank the wheel to the other side. Or the other way. I might have actually tumbled the right way after I got airborne. I thought that was a lost cause, but that was actually kind of accurate right there. I need to crank the wheel the other way to start tumbling. God damn it. I missed an opportunity there. Alright, how long has the stream been going on? Only 34 minutes? I thought it's been going on longer. Cool. Got a lot more time to go. Limit 70. Keep it under 5,500 in seconds. Okay, you're clear of the white. Okay, mark when you can. Gonna restart the session after this time. So... All the tire marks are gone. So I feel David Pearson's gonna screw this one up, because when I come back down, I'm hitting the wall. Gonna hit him. Oh wait, no, he backed off. Um. God damn it. Next. One of these. I'm gonna have to get lucky eventually, right? Limit 70. Keep it under 5,500 in second. Okay, you're clear of pit light. Okay, burn when you can. Oh. I'll let Kaylee Arborough pass. Two guys that don't have good luck at Darlington right here. Oh, Kale. Boom. God damn it. I wonder how Kale Yarborough feels about having the world's grossest vegetable named after him, or vice versa. Oh, that was close. Also, if anyone can find me Maynard Troyer's Red number 60 that he had in 1970. I'm looking to do that reenactment as well, but I can't find the car. God damn it. Is he gonna get hit? Nope.
Yeah, there's a bunch of old school crashes I'm looking to try to replicate, but I can't find the cars for them. People should start making more old school paint schemes. Or I should learn how to make paint schemes and make my own. I have enough going on, I don't have time to learn how to make paint schemes. Boom. They're tumbling. Oh, god damn it. Pardon my French. One of these times I'm gonna have to get it. It's just a matter of odds, right? Do something enough times, it eventually has to happen. Or you try something enough times, it eventually has to happen. Especially since I've gotten so many close ones. Holy sea cleaner. More updates for uh, antivirus slash computer help thing. More pop ups. You alright? God damn it. Blew the engine. What are you talking about? It's fine. You've exploded a tire. Still good. Looks like we're bent up on the back end. Just a couple scratches to buff out. Looks like you're leaking some fluid. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 55 in seconds. Okay, you're clear of pit Okay, we Whoa. Did not mean for that to happen. Actually, I actually want to do some tests at some point. Not right now, but at some point to see if I actually can go over the wall. With one of these versions of Darlington, I have another version. I have an older version, I believe a 1960-something. I wonder if I can go over the wall with those. Or if there's an invisible wall once you get above the concrete. Let's go back to first person for this one. I feel like I have better luck with that. This view sometimes. Whoa. Why does that keep happening? Boom. Nope. Nope. Let's try restarting the session. Get rid of the tire marks. Go again. Come on. There we go. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5500 seconds. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Okay, you guys should give me some more pre-1980 wrecks to try to do. If I can actually find the cars or if you guys know where the cars are. I don't think tracks should be an issue, but yeah, it's a matter of finding the right paint schemes. Pre-1980. way too many times there. Limit 70. Keep it under 5500. Okay, you're clear of pit light. Okay, Yes, I know I don't know how to drive in this version of Darlington. It's a lot harder. It's almost harder when you have the grip turned up with the wheel. Kind of hard to describe with the force feedback when you have the grip turned up, it's like really hard to fight the steering. Please land on your roof, which he didn't. Which he didn't. That was another close one, but he didn't land on his roof. From what I could tell inside the car, at least, it seemed close. Yeah, the start of it was close. He just needed right there to land on his roof. Or right there, I would have taken even. If he has flipped one extra time, that wouldn't have been too bad. 
But nope. Can't get the damn car to cooperate. And that happened again. And I just caused a massive wreck involving a bunch of cars. Or at least a few other cars. Ugh. I want to see a replay of that though. That was interesting. Totally my bad right there. Oh, I hit the wall. I thought I got hit by another car first. Yeah, when I was inside the car, I thought that hit right there was another car. And I knew I got hit by someone right there because I saw that number 22. Limit 70. Keep it under 5500. Okay, you're clear. Let's go back to the third person view, chase view, whatever it's called in this game. Getting closer and closer each time. One of these times. Gonna get it. Boom. God damn it. I, I tumbled and spun a little too much that time. Haha. Uh -huh. One of these times, it's gonna happen. Shoot, sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to pause the game. There we go. Limit 70. Keep it under 5500 in seconds. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5500 in seconds. Okay, margin again. Knock on wood. It's gonna happen this time. Boom. Nope. And it didn't. Just a hard wreck of a different type. Don't go over 70. Oh, Keep it God damn it. half stuck in the concrete wall when I started tumbling. That was lucky. But this won't be uh, darn it, not quick enough. Or maybe these guys won't have time to turn. Damn it. Yeah, right there I like, got stuck in the concrete for a second. So I kind of stopped on a dime when my nose went like into the corner of the wall in the ground right there. I think that would have killed Richard. Given that look where the car hit. Basically punts the roof right where the driver was. That wouldn't have been good. Whoa. Wrong way. Allison's around the track. I feel like I keep seeing those guys. Whoa. Nope. That's what I needed to happen when I initially hit the wall. 
that kind of tumble. Don't go over Let's 70. restart Keep the session. Up. Let's get rid of all the tire marks. Don't go over 70. Keep it under. Yeah. What the hell is sticky on my wheel? Well, I've been keeping this thing clean. I tried cranking the wheel so I'd tumble the right way. I tried. Alright, we got 10 more minutes to go. I'll try causing a big one. I'll make it quick, but I'll try causing a big one at Darlington at the end of the stream. Well, is that the only reason you guys watch these? So that is true after all, people only watch. Watch NASCAR for the wrecks. The myth is true. Well, well, technically this entire stream is a wreck, so I guess there's that. God damn it! Keeps getting those type of flips where he just spins around on his roof. Limit seventy. Keep it under fifty-five hundred. Almost saved it from flipping over. Don't go over 70. Keep it under Back to first person. Cockpit view. I better luck with this, I feel. I know I keep saying that. That's like the third time I've said this dream. Come on, Richard. Boom, alright, he's knocked out, and then boom. He's tumbling. Oh, god damn you. Never tumbles the right way. Except for a couple times, and when he does tumble the right way, way he doesn't land on his roof. God damn it. Don't go over 70. Keep it under 5,500 in second. Okay, you're clear. Oops. This guy kind of passed me. Once again, another Allison. Yeah, look at that. There's two Davy Allisons. I knew I wasn't crazy. The 27 and the 66. Or is, oh no, Davy and Donnie. That's right. Yeah. Wow, I'm stupid. Never mind. God damn it. Wow, I was stupid. Ow, God, this chair is my back's Don't worst nightmare. Keep it under in okay, you're clear of pit lane. Don't go over seventy. Keep it under fifty five hundred in second. Okay, when you can. Wow, 
on, tumble, tumble. Land on your roof. Damn it, damn it. <laughs> yeah, always so close, but not close enough. Exactly, I want to get every detail right for the most part. Like, the flip was good, except he didn't start tumbling quick enough, and when he did, he didn't do it good enough, and he didn't land on his roof. Yeah, the start, like, right here, when he starts to flip like that, it's perfect. But when he lands like here, he needs to tumble over twice and a half while kind of doing a 90 degree spin and then land on his roof. Limit <laughs> I will look into what sort of early 90s versions of Bristol I have to see if I could do Michael Waltrip's bad Bristol wreck at some point. Whoa. And that time he tumbled too many times and didn't land on his roof. That was another good start to the flip. I'm getting closer. God damn it. Getting closer. It's, num it's number 9,000. Yeah, no shit. Still need to find a way to get a little attempt counter for these tallies where I can just hit a little hot key. And a number will go up each time. Is there a way to do that? Any professional twitchers that know how to do all the panels and shit or just even stuff through OBS? Let me know. Nope. I don't care how my hard drive is performing. Two thousand in seconds. Stop coming up, stupid. That's a good noise. Stupid computer pop ups. That aren't even virus pop ups, it's just like updates and don't shit from my computer. Those are more annoying than viruses, if you ask me. The constant notification for updates. These brand new computers we pay $1,000 for, and all these stupid updates we have that you're no longer allowed to say no to. It's either do it now or do it later. Filling your computer up with all this needless nonsense that you don't need, since it worked perfectly fine when you first bought it. Then your computer gets filled with all these updates, and the next thing you know, your computer is broken, it doesn't work, it's all filled up, and it's bogged down, and you have to go buy a new one. Coincidence? Oh. Oh, come on, that was almost perfect. I turned the wheel the wrong way, I think, on that last tumble when I was in the air. That was good up until this point, good up until you're right there. God damn it, I needed to turn the wheel the other way and then I would have probably landed on my roof. Fuck! Pardon me, excuse my French. Alright, this is probably going to be my third to last attempt. So we're approaching an hour, then I need to do the big one, and then I'm going to sign off. And let my back rest as much as possible until I have to go to work and further destroy it. Boom. Sure. You basically land on your roof that time, but you don't do any tumbling first. Go fucking figure. Limit 
70. Keep it under 5,500. In second. Okay, you're clear. Fifth light. Minute 70. Keep it under 5,500. In second. Okay, merge when you can. I'm just going to do one big one when I do it. I'm going to do the backwards one, the going the wrong way one. My back is hurting. I need to sign off shortly so I can lay down on my memory foam mattress and help it as much as possible before I have to go to work. And he went too far up the track. God damn it. Nope. All right, last attempt right here. Let's see if we can get it on the last attempt. If not, we're gonna have a part three to this one. And that doesn't count, obviously. Limit seventy. Keep it under. Look at the standings. Did someone spell Yarborough really weird, or is that actually someone else's name other than the Yarboroughs? Is that just like someone's poor spelling of the last name of Yarborough? Right, boom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please. No! <laughs> So close. I thought I was going to have it on the last one. God damn it. So close. Perfect. Perfect up to this point. Perfect. And then right there he should have landed on his fucking wheels. Or roof. Fuck. Well, at least I have some frustration to take out for this uh, big one I'm about to cause. God fucking damn it. That was as close as it could have possibly been. And then it just pulled it right out from under me. Fuck. Alright. Gonna do this real quick and then sign off. Drivers, start your engines. Well, I can't edit that one because I didn't save it because I didn't feel it was worth saving. So it's too late to edit it. This means I'll have to have a part three. And I'm not editing, I'm not going to be one of those cheaters that just splices together a bunch of stuff and edits it and blah 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 to do the reenactments. I know there's people out there that do that, that can make it work for the most part, but I'm not one of those. I think the only thing I've edited speed-wise like that was Ken Schrader's Sears Point Flip just so the tumble would actually kind of line up just a little bit better. Don't go over 70. Keep it under. They don't know it's about to hit them. Gonna time it so I can Get them right as they're coming off turn four. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. The yellow flag is out. Did I get everyone else or does everyone else just stop super quick? I think a combination of both. <laughs> <laughs> Look at number 79. And, uh, 115. What the hell happened there? Alright, yeah, it was a combination. Most of the people actually did pile in, and a few just slowed down to make it through. We got a spectator view that isn't blocked by a... big-ass overhang. Alright, here they all compiling in. No one flipped over other than me. But a few cars got fused with the wall. Alright, so that is it for this one. Please hit a like button. I got so damn close on that last attempt. A few other attempts were really close, but 
Oh man, that's frustrating, but I guess we're gonna have to have a part three, but please hit a like button. Thank you for watching it this far in. If you guys are still watching, everyone on Twitch and YouTube, thanks all you guys for all your support. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, follow me on Twitch if you aren't already. Uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks again for all the support, you guys. Uh, until I see you guys next time, probably tomorrow or so, I have, hope you have a good rest of your night. Uh, see you later. Peace, guys. Bye.